So, after uh, setting up the uh, jig for the drill, I used the um, 1 8 size SAE drill bit for the M4 by 07 um, tab or thread size. For the metric equivalent, it's about 3.3 milliliter millimeters. Uh, now, when you drill, you don't want to go too deep uh, and weaken the structure and integrity of the bar. So you want to drill above three to four millimeters, no more than that. Just enough to get the uh, thread in. So that's what uh, it is for. Again, the uh, traction control um, and the throttle control have the same bolt size. So once you put all the templates on correctly and you'll be able to um, punch the exact location where to drill. If the hose is at the bottom, what I do is I loosen this two screw and rotate it so that you give better leverage. So I just finished uh, drilling the holes for the M5 by 8 as well tapping them. Um, I do want to uh, give a word of caution the templates that I referenced to was for the uh, 2017 model year. Uh, I believe it's up to 2020 that the bolts were as shown on the template. However, for the 2021 and up, the uh, bolt uh, size for the uh, left and right control groupings, as I indicated before, the uh, throttle, um, control has the same bolt size as the traction adjuster and they are M4 by 0 0.7 milli and you use one uh, one eighth drip it side to drill it and then to tap the uh, the um, the M4 by 0 0.7 and for the uh, starter and kill switch the bolt is the same thing as the uh, um, control unit for the manual. They are M5 by 08. And to use that, I use the 9 by 64 drill bit size or 4.2 millimeter as I've indicated previously. But do not use the, five, the 3 by 16 as the template suggested. That's for 2020 uh 17 model so be very careful with that now i want to use this opportunity to show you how to remove the uh, uh, i guess the the inserts here at the end bar it's kind of tricky so i use the exacto knife and i just try to wedge it in and try to slowly um you know move it out you don't want to use anything other than that to start off with because most likely you're going to scratch it and then once you get the gap Good enough gap, you use a flathead screwdriver and just try to pry it out. And just so. Yeah, that's off there. And so I'm using this opportunity to also drill the inserts. Um, okay, share with you uh, what I just did there. Uh, highly recommend it to be very, very steady and stable as much as you can drilling this. Um, hole because as you can see it's not a bad well centered and you don't want it more than uh, um i would say about inch deep yeah about an inch deep is all you need and then once you get that you're going to uh, tap it so i just finished tapping it and now we're going to try to fit the uh, inserts by on. There you have it. Nice and easy and flush. Perfect. And now you have this M6 
to uh, add your end bar, either your end mirror, um, anything that has an M6 thread, you'll be able to fit in there. Uh, no more one of those, um, you know, universal fit. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Uh, you wanna line up as straight as possible. Make sure you tight all of this bolt because the rotation, it will rotate. So you wanna hold that on tight. And you wanna give it a nice slow turn. No more than that. Gentle, easy, and put a bit of uh, weight on the drill. And you wanna check to see if you are straight. And the good sign about that is that everything is equal. You know, all the shapes are equal. Yep, so that's about an inch. And yeah, I think it's, it's great. Here, I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, looks straight to me and even as well. So there you have it. So now I'm gonna use the tap and then tap it in. So it comes with a little bit, uh, I guess, oversized. I use just a vise to hold on to it uh, and to uh, you know, start the tapping. So I might be on your back, so pardon me. Again, you wanna do it gently, slowly. See, I, I would have not thought to do this other way. I have uh, drill bits over there, but I wasn't just sure how to hold this bar to get those uh, drilling. So the common sense is to put it in place, tighten all it up and just drill it. So that seemed to work. Yeah, just go back. Reverse the tap to get all the shavings off. Voila. Again, don't forget this is M18 by 1.5. Okay. We're gonna test it. Oh yeah, pretty. Yep, perfect. All right, so uh, all the holes are drilled. So first thing first, going to be uh, removing this template, taking the uh, tape off. And off you go, nice and smooth. Somewhere here. I put it back to zero degrees as my reference line. You recall that? But I cannot do anything. I cannot put it in the way it's like this. So I have to undo that. So far so good. You could Thickly grind down a little bit here with a filer, but it doesn't do much. It just makes things slide in and out a lot easier. Maybe I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that way things slide in and out a lot easier so it doesn't scratch. Now remember, there's a lot of shavings in here, so you might wanna get rid of it. Yep, seem to be empty, good. And yeah, this uh, came by uh, with this pre-screw. Uh, so I think the hollow size, I'm not too sure even what the size, probably half an inch or five eighth. 
in any case, don't matter because you drill over it anyway. So you want to making sure nothing got uh, in the way. So first thing go in first is of course the clutch and then the control followed by the traction control. And try to fit it back into the zero position as the way I've wanted. Yep, twist a little. There you go. And we'll tighten it back up again. As I say, be very careful not to strip the, the uh, bolt. You got to make sure that the Allen key is all the way in before you turn. As simple as it sound. Sometimes it just doesn't latch on for some of us. Yeah. And hence you get two days of setback. For what should be, I would say about a few hours install. So here, just playing around with the uh, where the position you want it to be and of course there's the uh, uh, electronics here, the cable from the uh, clutch sensor. I would not tie it up this just yet. What I would do is bringing the uh, control unit to where it should be. And don't be surprised when you install all, you may have to undo the clamp and bring back to where it is so you get the clearance. So that's that's the part where I think it's going to be most fun or not. Yeah, so the lining up is not as great. So what I need to do is uh, loosening it and pull it out a tad uh, backward. So give me enough room to push the uh, control in. So it should be a slide in just like so. And tighten it up a tad, give it a little nudge. Yeah, you don't want to over tighten it because that uh, could uh, shear the uh, thread. Okay, so working for the bottom, this is going to be tricky. So a good rule of thumb is to go back to the original handlebar to uh, find out where exactly or how many holes there are for the control groupings. Well, long and behold, I uh, noticed something here. So on this left-hand side for the clutch um, lever, there are two holes, this one here, and that one here. And that's exactly what the template uh, shown. And I drilled those two holes. Um, but guess what? This bigger hose where I thought it was the M5 by 0 0.8, it's not even needed. Again, okay, I'll explain you why. And remember I say on the right hand side that I need to drill another hole? Well, you don't need to. There's only one, and that is exactly it, the M4 by Zero seven, uh, so that is good for the uh, throttle control. Now, the one that I thought is for the um, control for the menu and the starts and switch kill button 
they're not there necessarily because they used a different tightening mechanism. So this bolt here, five by zero eight, they actually screw on to a clamp inside the control. And the more you tighten it, the tighter it becomes to wrap around the handlebar so that it doesn't slide um, or rotate around the handlebar. So that's the trick. Now here is where the realization come. In any case, I think all is good. Looks like I'm running into another snag. So let me explain. You see, first of all, I cannot lower the riser down to this position because of this interference. So right now, this here interfering with the uh, clam. You can see there, it touch it because the angle that I want is to be a little bit downward and look at where the things are, it's interfering. So to do that, you also notice the uh, handlebar is came out a little bit far, right? Okay, so suppose I raise it up, bring it in forward with the handlebar, aha, you see there is a interference problem right here. So the fitment of this is not exactly, but it could work. What it means is that I will not be able to put it all the way through where it is right now should work, but uh, not to my very comfort level. Uh, so that's where we are with this situation. Other than that, it's uh, beautiful. So after putting everything back, adjusting, and uh, making sure that the clearance is good, uh, you can see here, nothing touch, clear the tank side, clear from the brake line here. Same thing was over there. Nothing, touch, all clear. Tank clear. Um, so it was a good install. I, however, recommend that you give time and be patient with this install because the adjustment of here will um, be a little bit of uh, try and errors. Uh, I end up leaving my position the way it is. Some people be like it more open wide, but my reason again is the way how my risk is. And I think uh, more sweep angle will help me. I ended up using the uh, stock uh, hand grip because of the fact that there is the traction control and there's a little notch over here and no aftermarket hand grips would be able to cover that properly so i'm going to stick around with this until i decided on replacing the uh, buttons uh, such as jet prime for the street version uh, replacing all of that uh, as well as on the side here um, so yeah, the uh, stock inserts been installed. Caution though, your throttle has to be free and be able to uh, retract in its original. Everything is back, tied down, all is good. What left with me with this one piece here that uh, I want to uh, uh, show you guys. And remember how I say that the EvoTech uh, phone holder would be able to fit in this two holes. And um, long and behold, it does fit. So what I do is I use a, um, I would say about an inch or two inch or an inch and three quarter uh, bolt pattern and just going through them. So I got a bush underneath and I'm going to install it. I'm adding the rubber piece just to uh, make sure no water seep through and sits there and rust the bolts over time. So I put that over and next up, of course, this is from the EvoTech, the uh, riser or the bushing riser and it go right in there. Uh, that would be perfectly fine. And of course, once I put them all in, 
be able to uh, fit it just the way it's supposed to be there you go yep and I'm just going to add a washer and then the corresponding nut and then tie it in now you need to hand top and bottom to do this um, but I'm gonna hand tie it here just to show you guys that it eventually worked out really nice with this EvoTech phone holder ideally I want less of the chrome in front here if you have more of you know the black bolts or whatnot uh, use it uh, because when you ride in the sun there's some distraction with the reflection there so take note of that if you have black bolts use them which I'm going to change uh, eventually uh, but for the purpose of this demonstration just to show you how nicely it fits so there you go uh, it hides that uh, heat is uh, open um, and left behind holes from the uh, triple clamp there um, a few other things your screen will be scratched um, to minimize that because you know when you remove the triple clamp to fit in the um, uh, clamp onto the stanchion uh, you may rub with the triple clamp onto the screen so what I do is I, I actually this is actually the um, RNG uh, dash protector screen on it. It scratched a little bit. I bought extra, so I'm going to uh, replace them with that. Uh, other than that, take your time and um, enjoy it uh, because I think it looks much, much better clean and better position. I still have yet to uh, measure the triangle of the body position, but uh, I will uh, show you guys what's the difference between that. Uh, what else? Uh, there are leftover, obviously, um, shavings from drilling the holes. Uh, make sure you want to vacuum all of that. Make sure none of that get into your engine. And uh, just clean the bike up generally. But overall, uh, good install and highly recommended. Um, I overcame this uh, issue with the clutch uh, by racing the riser to the points where I'm comfortable with and that is eventually the lowest points where you can go down uh, unless you want to position your clutch upward which is kind of horizontal look weird and it's not good for ergonomics uh, so this is where it's going to be the lowest points I still have about half an inch left if I want to rise it up uh, taller so that's about it uh, for me and Everything's back, tightened down, looks good to go, and yeah, all clear. Now I'm gonna measure the triangle shape of the body positioning and compare that to the stock to see how uh, it uh, play out. So I was able to put everything back, uh, tighten them all down. Really like the setup. I installed the uh, bar end mirrors, both sides. I also installed the uh, brake lever protector. Uh, this is the GB Racing, by the way. I like the color, like they're plastic, nylon plastic. Uh, fits in very well. Um, so I did some measurement uh, to compare to the uh, original OEM bar. Um, just to give you an idea, roughly it was like about here. And you can see how much of a drop uh, that is much more sweep angle, uh, a little bit lower, um, more forward riding position. I like that. Now, you know, some folks say that if you uh, flip the thing over and turn 180 degrees, you will get the same effect. Well, I kind of disagree with that. So this would be something you get. The sweep angle is still not quite to what my liking it. But if you wanting to do something like this, flip it over and get that uh, um, forward lower position, this might be something uh, you could work as well. So it might work. What you might need to do is redrill the holes for the control um, grouping, of course. So the measurement I did was from the triangle from here to the center of the tank where my crutch would be. Uh, originally it was 25 inches. So I just remeasured that is about 
24 or so. Uh, so not much of a change from the distance from here to here. Uh, again, from the uh, peg footrest up to here, originally it was 34 inches. Uh, with the new setup, it's now 31 inches. So about three inches in um, uh, reduction of the length. So a little bit sweep back. The biggest change is the drop. Original height was 40 from here down to the floor. And now the new measurement is 35 inches down to the floor. So that's about five inches drop. So it's more forward, lean back a little bit. So give me that sporty position. Really, really like the setup. So uh, overall, really like the install and I'm very happy with the look of the bike. Uh, in comparison to the OEM. Again, get one of this EvoTech phone mount. If you haven't done so, I think it hides the holes very well. Thumb up for that and it fits perfectly fine. So there you have it. Please subscribe if you uh, like the video and the install. Uh, I will be producing more videos in the future. But uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed the install and thank you very much for watching this through.